Hello, viewers. We have uh, seen top ranking world leaders coming to India for G20 summit, or should I call it G21 summit? When leaders from the world come to India, they bring a lot of entourage. They are team members. They have long and uh, very tiring session and would go out. Go out to different, different places and uh, would like to see the country, the beautiful country which we offer to our visitors, our tourists. And uh, in same endeavor, we have a discussion with Captain Suresh Sharma. Captain Suresh Sharma is basically uh, from army background and I will make his full introduction. But right now, let me uh, share with you our uh, viewers that Captain Suresh Sharma is a pioneer in the field. And today's discussion is on the subject which he does so endearingly and so passionately and totally with the devotion and dedication. Captain Sharma, welcome to our discussion. Thank you, sir. Thank Captain, you, Captain Siyagi. Uh, Captain Scott, we bring uh, uh, the personalities who have taken a very different cut to their lives. And uh, today's discussion is based on caravan tourism and beyond, on which uh, Captain Sharma is uh, fully dedicated and working tirelessly. Uh, again, uh, for viewers, it is always pleasure and welcome such expert as uh, Captain Suresh Sharma. He is a proud gunner, Indian Army veteran, commissioned in 1984 and passed out from Officers Training Academy. In spite of being a diehard soldier in August 90, he bade adieu to Indian Army in pursuit of his passion, whole time, like a free bird. He loves to travel, photograph countryside and uh, its cultural and natural heritage, especially meandering around his caravan, King Cobra, and there is another addition, Taurus. And uh, his mission for which his better half has also joined is, as equal partner is nature conservation through tourism and uh, photography. He got associated with wildlife film projects, including two for the National Geographic Society USA. He has been commissioned to organize a special interest tours and photo safaris. It is noteworthy to share that Cap Captain Suresh Sharma is a pioneer in caravan tourism and uh, for his efforts, for his uh, pursuit, he has been mentioned in leading uh, magazines based on tourism and uh, uh, at the world level. And uh, in Captain's Cut, we bring out those exceptional personalities who made their passion in their profession, their passion. These are the persons and the personalities with different cuts in their lives. So welcome, Captain Suresh Sharma. And uh, like diehard soldier, you still remain soldier, fight odds, and uh, perseverance is your... Uh, Moto, what you did and uh, why you did. Captain Chagi, I got introduced Chagi, to nature by my father. And when I was very small, he used to take me out for morning walk. And he used to show me small animals and birds and bring home the injured ones. That's how I started loving nature because if you go out in the morning um, to jungle, it's an amazing experience. And when it was small, as they say, catch them young. So my father really uh, got me into it when I was young. And then Indian Army added on to it. And Indian Army took me to places where otherwise I would have gone. And one and a half years out of that, I spent in the Sri Lankan jungles as part of Indian peacekeeping force. And that was also quite an experience. It got me very close to uh, nature and animals. 
I then while transiting at Madras, that's called Chennai now, I met uh, my late friend Satish Bhaskar, who has been legends about sea turtles. He's done, uh, I can say, a survey of the whole Indian coast on foot, and he lived on an in an uninhabited island in Andaman for six months all alone. That kind of person. So I met him uh, while staying at the transit camp mess, and that meeting changed my life. I got into wildlife filming because he introduced me to uh, Robin Whitaker and his uh, partner, Shekhar Dattatri. They were making a wildlife film called Silent Valley and Indian Rainforest. I told Satish that I would love to see uh, what they do and how they make films. And he took me to uh, Roman's Whitaker and he offered that I'll carry your bag, I'll be a pulley, I'll be your driver, I'll be a cook in the camp. Please take me on a trip where you are shooting. Maybe, you know, they like my uh, belly fire and the passion in me and the kind of desire I had. So they said, yes, you're most welcome. And I took leave for three months without pay from the Indian Army, that's called furlough. And I worked on wildlife film for three months. That was the best um, exposure I ever had about wildlife and photography. It's an amazing experience. That changed my life. I started loving snakes. So my father has been known for killing snakes. Whenever there were snakes around in our uh, locality, people used to call my father to kill the snake. And I got to know them. Means, what are their design? Why do they bite? When do they bite? How to um, you know, save yourself from their uh, bite? And if one is bitten, what is the you know, first aid and what is the remedy? Then I said, if they are not designed to get us killed, why don't we understand them a little more? And then I started learning about them more. And I started uh, educating people about snakes and snake bites more than what I was doing before, uh, you know, uh, learning about them from my close friends like Dr. Indrani Das, who's a world-renowned hepatologist from India, working in Malaysia right now. And I was never in favor of running an NGO because in India, NGOs have a bad day and the system is very poor to run an NGO. You're given funds for something uh, where you are asked to do adjustments and there's a lot of corruption goes on. So I was not in favor of uh, running an NGO. So I wanted to do self-funding. And because every small activity or even if you go for a lecture to a school, you want to show a wildlife film to you know convince children about the nature and uh, animals, that animals are not your enemies. You need some, some money, some basic money. So that I raised uh, through my own efforts. First, I started making wildlife souvenirs. My wildlife t-shirts were like uh, the best in the country. I can say, I can take pride today. We were pioneers for bringing in wildlife t-shirts, the best wildlife t-shirts equivalent to international standards. And then I started into, I mean, running a tourism company. And then I introduced uh, caravan because I have been caravaning for 23 years now. I must have done more than 175,000 kilometers and many trips of five months to six months each, many times. First long trip was with my daughter when she was only six months old. We went from north to south and uh, we went via west coast and drove back through central India. And the day she turned, one year we came back home to be with her family to celebrate her first birthday. So the celebration was very, very simple. We don't believe in blowing money on any ceremonies. So that's how my journey has been. The reason has been into getting into caravan tourism and tourism, basically fundraising. And I have used my skill of photography to bring out the beauty of snakes uh, to do uh, the bridging uh, between the 
people i say ignorant people and innocent snakes and my slogan has been save the innocent snakes and ignorant people because people have no knowledge about snakes we need to give them knowledge and they will understand them that yes snakes are not here to get you killed and how to prevent a snake bite a fatal bite rather i'll say once people understand that even a venomous snake bite can be uh, managed well with the medicines so then people will be uh, you know little more friendly they will learn how to live with the snakes so my agenda has been people should learn how to live with the snakes the way we have learned how to live with the electric electrical wire uh, live wire it has been insulated we use plastic switches so there is a gap between us and the electricity if you touch it it kills otherwise it runs your life so that has been my simple methodology to convince people that please try to understand snakes you don't need to be a snake charmer you don't need to be a scientist or herpetologist you don't need to be like me uh, you just need to understand the basics that's it how to live with them so now i am full time into caravan tourism and educating people about snakes and snake bite and nature conservation efforts kya kuch aage that's my i can say the reason why i started on this amazing story so far and uh, i am sure the, slowly when uh, our viewers get to know more about your activities they will be uh, totally amazed and mesmerized knowing that uh, the caravan which uh, you use is uh, single handedly designed by you i have seen torus being fabricated and uh, how uh, right from uh, you know welding and uh, putting insulation and then uh, making uh, shelters retractable uh, you know awnings and all those things uh, you got this inspiration from somewhere or it came from within because uh, uh, no one uh, before you has ever used this concept of uh, caravan tourism what was the force behind you at the time of designing and uh, putting it uh, commissioning it so there was one reason i wanted to go to the villages and i wanted to go to the far off places um uh, and i wanted to be self contained because when you go to a village uh you know you don't want to be a burden on anybody and you get used to certain basic comforts also in life uh being a city dweller though i am not i am a bushman and i can adapt to anything so i wanted to take uh, a vehicle which is self contained and i could carry my clothes i could carry a uh, projector i could carry a generator so because of that i started designing this caravan uh, since it's, uh, it's called its name uh, i mean since we started this for snakes so it's called king cobra it was named as king cobra and uh, the slogan written on this is in praise of snakes and i know people found me crazy man in the beginning that how can i say you know when i used to catch snakes i gave free service for 15 years in tri city to rescue snakes because if i will give something to people they will listen to me i wanted to educate people about snakes and snake bite so i wanted a vehicle which could serve me for the snake cell as uh, we named it though there was no office nothing it was operated from home so that's the reason i started designing a self contained vehicle for the snake cell for the snakes so we could go and do programs chap okay and uh, so today you have <coughs> two caravans and uh, offer lifetime experience to your customer then you have uh, cooking facilities also so not only you are a tour guide you are a driver you are a cook also and you take your customer to such exotic locations which they might have only dreamt or uh, saw in uh, foreign tourism magazines so share something about that 
Yeah, Captain Tiagi, um, I must say, I take pride now today that our locations are really, really absolutely exotic. People just love it. I take a lot of effort and I take a lot of pain in uh, scouting for locations. I dream and sleep and eat of only good locations. I was not a businessman and I'm still not. So after having jumped into caravan tourism as a pioneer, I realized India is not yet ready for uh, caravan tourism. So I had faced a lot of hurdles. Unless I am involved personally, it won't have run. I became a driver because I realized that none of the drivers could really cope up with me. They used to get up at 8 o'clock and I get up in my camp at 5. The first cup of tea served at 6 o'clock. And when we were on the move, these drivers were posing hurdles. I became a cook because I just love field cooking. And this whole experience of being with nature, and I'm sure uh, everyone, at some point of the time, when you are passing by a river, a good mountain view, or the desert, uh, or maybe, uh, I mean, uh, alongside a canal, you always say, ah, I wish I could spend a night here. And you are discouraged because you do not have infrastructure. Maybe some people are scared to be there alone at night. So what we do is we give an experience to people uh, to spend a night or two now uh, in wilderness and base with basic comforts. Now with two, uh, one, um, uh, two RVs, one is an overland truck and one is a caravan which is called uh, King Cobra. Overland truck is called Taurus. Now we have got uh, three trailers also, uh, camping trailers. They are used basically with a small mini tractor to shift locations. As we call it a rowing camp, a camp that changes spots. So we take you to a general area and we shift around your location. You may like to just move very close to you know, the water body. Like we have a location in Pong Dam area, an absolute delight, heaven on earth, 180 degrees of view, uninterrupted view, no human figures in that, uh, like, uh, you know, cell phone towers or high tension wires and cables and uh, those, uh, you know, pillars and no buildings. Blue water, blue sky, view of Daladhar. It's an amazing and amazing experience. And when we give very healthy food and our USP is hygiene. It has been a big challenge. It's not been easy, but I wanted to do something because I also need some kind of nasha to enjoy my life. My nasha is I always love to do something which others cannot do easily. I always try as a let me see how I can do it when others can't do it. So I have done it. I've been a driver and a cook, and I also entertain my people with interesting stories. And it's a total experience of a different kind. Captain Sharma, at this time, uh, I will take a question which is uh, very re relevant to what we are discussing at this point. And uh, this question is uh, coming from Manoj Kumar. Uh, for your information, Captain Manoj Kumar is. Uh, the brain behind this captain's cut and uh, two captains okay. with stage, uh, joined together and started this captain's cut. And uh, Captain Manoj Kumar is asking, what is legal status of caravan tourism in India? Because I am sure that uh, <clears throat> when you take your caravan next to a uh, water body, either lake or a river, or uh, when you camp by the roadside, there might be certain issues which you need to address. People will come and ask whose permission you have taken. Police might ask you know, why you are doing illegal parking or uh, outrightly forcing you to move away. So how uh, you tackle such situation and what is the legal status of caravan uh, tourism? So, uh, Captain Tiagi, I'll just say, when you want to park your caravan for a night or two, 
if you go and politely ask anybody to park it in a private property 99.9% people don't say anything to it uh, in india caravan tourism is still something which attracts people they say wow ghar bana hua hai gaadi mein and there will be a mela to see you so people will welcome you i have never faced a problem where i have been asked to vacate a place unless uh, it's a very sensitive area like uh, twice it happened i was in the border area where army officers came and asked me to vacate the location otherwise um, there is nothing uh, called something like an illegal parking we are in india we are not in america american lifestyle is totally different american caravan camping is totally different you cannot park anywhere and everywhere here as long as you are not obstructing anybody as long as you are not misusing anybody's property you are not causing any damage to anybody's property you are not driving through a field nobody minds in last 23 years people have welcomed me and your personal conduct personal approach is what matters yes you may not drive your uh, you know caravan into a gated property just like that you cannot park in somebody's place just like that basic courtesy demands you park if somebody comes they ask you why have you parked you just say politely this is my requirement and people are very kind you remember we people in uh, india that's bharat people are very polite people are always um, very good host we have been known for being uh, the best host in the world probably today uh, hospitality hospitality is our in our culture so uh, people have always give, uh, given me space and sometimes rather i'll say many times people have given me food they have hosted me in their house they say no no don't cook food in your caravan we will cook food for you so that's the uh, that's not a big issue in india i have seen <coughs> few pictures where your caravan is very close to the river under the tree and uh, <coughs> grill is out and uh, you are busy in preparing high tea so that is the personal touch you give to all the tourists you take out uh, in cross country areas getting fresh supply in remote areas because i remember that picture was uh, somewhere near leh or ladakh somewhere close to the river so getting fresh supply and in time uh, you have to depend a lot and do you uh, have a storage facility or do you depend on whatever is uh, locally available that's the agree certain things i carry from chandigarh before the start of the season like um, very high quality sugar rice um, uh, maybe even cheese and few other things but there are things um, i mean uh, which are very easily available in ladakh in the market and lay i will say um, from that location which you are talking about next to the river rather bank on the river banks uh, it is hardly 4 kilometers from lay town and i have a storage i have huge storage in uh, taurus so that's not a problem yes fresh supply like eggs and uh, vegetables and milk we manage on daily basis as we do not have walk in uh, clients we generally have 99.9% uh, pre bookings and we know that after two days three days somebody is coming and accordingly we store our stuff and we are always overstocked we uh, buy the best of the things like i used to buy uh, uh, paneer from niaz milk products uh, a kashmiri muslim who uh, used to send the best of the paneer so if i need 2 kg i have to get 4 kg there is some eco uh, suresh uh, uh, meantime uh, till it is addressed i ask a question again which is uh, from manoj kumar captain manoj is asking for the reasons why caravan tourism is not very popular unlike uh, uh, in europe is it uh, 
द लाइफ स्टाइल इंडियन है और इट इज लैक ऑफ पॉपुलर पॉपुलरिटी और राइट पीपल नोइंग दैट राइट टाइप ऑफ सर्विसेज आर अवेलेबल सो इज इट लैक ऑफ यू नो लाइकिंग टुवर्ड्स आउटडोर एक्टिविटीज और इंफॉर्मेशन इज नॉट राइटली शेयर्ड विद देम नो देयर मेनी रीजंस टू इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we are not touched for outdoor number 1 it's not in our dna as yet we love our comfort with money people want to have very comfortable life people say in 18000 rupees as a couple i can book uh, a beautiful room extra luxury in, in any five star hotel in jaisalmer or ladakh why should i rough it out in the wilderness one and uh, secondly uh, caravans have not been available in india because there was no demand and there are no fittings there are no camping grounds so the egg or hen we need camping uh, camping grounds but to make them viable we need caravans abroad it has taken maybe 100 years 150 years to evolve caravan tourism or caravans india is a very young country it's just a seven decades so we have been fighting for the basics we were uh, you can say i'm sorry to say the reality is we were you know colonized by britishers and we were like a slave country so we didn't have anything um, you know even to feed our people after freedom so uh, it will take some time so the right time has come but right now as you know we are also very fond of making a mess of anything right now caravan policies all over the country is in a mess and there is no clarity all states are having their own a uh, way of uh, caravan tourism on policies they are being cooked by in the voices and on their channels their people those uh, have no clue about caravan tourism and i was uh, asked to be a consultant to one state but they kept me hanging in fire for one year and no conclusion and finally one day i got a call uh, captain saab uh, we cannot take you on the panel because you run a caravan tourism commercially i said are you looking for a pandit ji uh, from a temple who is, who is in uh, puja i said you are you are promoting caravan tourism which means commercial and you need a person who has successfully run commercial tourism caravan tourism so that is the kind of uh, uh, you know reaction we have got <coughs> motor vehicle inspectors have no clue rtos have no clue transport uh ministry and tourism ministry are uh, working very differently see tourism uh ministry and uh, transport and banking and few others they need to sit down together and make a policy with the experts at least some people those have got uh, experience in this now you cannot call an experienced person from uh, america because their culture is different their caravan tourism is different the way they the kind of infrastructure they have is totally different in india i can go and park my caravan in a farmer's uh, field with his permission i will play him he'll cook food for me isn't it a good camping ground but now we want to copy american style of camping ground which makes no sense because that kind of money makes no roi so who we will keep doing this dilly dally for long time <coughs> the question which uh, is logical again right at this side that uh, you go to himachal you probably go to kashmir ladakh you are going regularly you might go to uttarakhand uttarakhand and in uttarakhand i found something uh, very weird a small accident took place in uttarakhand and all adventure activities were banned for good one and half year so that is the tourism friendly regime uh, in a few states because people do not understand that tourism is uh, bringing good business not only good business tourists bring lot of goodwill also and uh, today when we say 
मेरा भारत बदल रहा है आगे बढ़ रहा है देन प्रोबेबली स्टेट गवर्नमेंट नीड टू अप्रिशिएट एंड अंडरस्टैंड दैट सच टूरिज्म एक्टिविटीज एज यू आर इन्वॉल्व इन आर no burden on uh, infrastructure or resources of the government and brings a uh, lot of money uh, through different means and lot of goodwill so would you happily come to uttarakhand uh, or uh, go to madhya pradesh or go to any state is there uh, really no restriction for you or uh, for anyone in this field sir i'm sorry to say captain tyagi uh, i have no i mean i'm very rude to um, saying things very straight forward if i am a chamcha of a babu or a minister i'll be welcome otherwise i'm sorry there's nothing i mean today in this country everybody know special tourism but no one please other than go. odisha yeah please go ahead we lost you for a second please go ahead ha huh. so you know you need a passionate babu who is experienced about tourism but i don't know till date i have not understood a system though they have their own logic that's why they have been using this uh, babu giri uh, today he is secretary um, animal husbandry tomorrow uh, transport then aviation then industry then suddenly he, he starts taking reports from the doctors he doesn't even know the spellings of discipline and this is the sad part of it. so for tourism you need to be passionate traveler to understand the problems of hotel camping poor people sustainable tourism there are a lot of things to be discussed uh, india can really generate huge revenue from tourism but who will organize it they are all selfish they don't want to do anything they organize seminars they will make money out of it they will get name uh, they will fill up the log book humne seminar kara diya uske baad kya hota hai sir kuch nahi hota nothing happens <coughs> and to say i mean um, i think about 20 years ago 25 years ago they started uh, wheelchair friendly uh, ramps half of the ramps are not even complete so where are we you know nobody is passionate about it secretary tourism should be there for at least 5 years 10 years with some experience <coughs> so that is a problem so uh, captain suresh <coughs> two quick questions again yeah. uh, uh, about your activities you have done uh, something which not many people thought you were much ahead of your times or rather much ahead of the time in india at least for tourism industry but someone uh, wanted to fabricate uh, similar caravan would you help or are there any facilities to fabricate uh, such caravans i am willing to uh, i mean i am i have offered on my website i am a consultant available for the designing and fabrication of caravan or rv or you know, incidentally i mentioned uh, your website i provided link of your website in the description box okay. so that thank is you. for the information of our viewers also thank you very much but in india uh, making vanity vans has been a big business because uh, mainly because of the you know fashion industry and sorry and the film industry because they need to go out uh, to a location where there are no facilities and uh, you know actors and actresses they need to have a break between the shoots so they call it a vanity van vanity van is something which needs external support they will have a huge generator set somebody else will cook food for them whereas a caravan is something uh, which is self sustainable it should be self sustainable all by itself and uh, mostly people have been 
those those have been building vanity vans they don't understand the concept of caravan caravan the difference between vanity van and the caravan is like building a house and a you know, uh, guest house your home your house is like um, you know you can live in it for years but a guest house is for maybe 5 days 10 days a month or two and but somebody else will cook for you somebody else will uh, manage your life other than sleeping and taking bath in your room so uh, that they have not been able to understand so variety van makers now are getting into making uh, caravans and there are people those are not jumping into it without of course having any experience about caravan traveling and having a holiday and there are a lot of people those are making claims i'm the first couple to do caravaning i'm the first married couple to do it i'm the first single couple to do it i don't know what all claims people are doing it it's just the social media to be fed whereas caravan travel i can say i started commercial tra- caravan holidays i'm sure some people must have started even before me but because i started during the social media times so people have started saying i am the pioneer so i don't even claim uh, you know caravan uh, caravans have been there for 150 years 200 years earlier people used to have bullock carts and uh, even the carts pulled by elephants those were caravans for rich people they used to go for hunting so now they need to understand caravan design is to make it a self sustainable and uh, there are certain things which they need to take care of as a you know safety from fire because it can get burnt within seconds so they need to be very careful while designing a car the captain yeah. just dimag mein aaya ek sawal which is waste disposal how do you do it and ji waste disposal uh see first of all we need to get used to the reality of life most people do not want to listen or face the reality they all dream they want to talk about things those are happening in the us do we have facilities in india to do a waste disposal i would ask you question so what i do and what i have tried and done the best human waste is a biodegradable thing and when you dump it in a septic tank on your rv and you pour a lot of water so when you drive around and it becomes a so watery slurry and you go off the main road in wilderness because you don't do caravaning in a city and when you want to park in a city maybe for night or two or three then your septic tank your uh, as they call it black tank black water tank should have the capacity to store it for three four five days or a week but then maybe start smelling and you need to use uh, chemical i have never used chemical uh, in my commercial activities because i realize there's no point in pouring chemicals in the bushes and all so what i do Uh, when i am in rajasthan in wilderness there is a barren land i dispose of my uh, rv's uh, septic tank black tank uh, black water you can say and i have gone there back after 10 minutes i was surprised i could not trace the spot where i have done the disposal because of the spread of the watery slurry and the human waste gets mixed with the uh, water it spreads over a, a wider space earth and the water is taken and soaked by the sand or the soil and there are no traces left and next day it's as clean as it was earlier someone uh, asked about your contact details and uh, email id uh, i think uh, yeah, sure. your website website uh, has all the available it has all the details it has I some have technical issue link. which will be sorted out on monday so i have shared the link and uh, your website provides your contact details and uh, 
back to uh, the subject you are uh, not a snake sharbari you declared but you are such a charming personality and uh, the kind of details you have uh, towards the comfort of your tourist of your customer i am sure that uh, everyone who has experienced through you the caravan tourism is experience for life as a closing remark may i request you to uh, look through your magic ball and see the future of this caravan tourism in india that is bharat yeah caravan tourism is a very bright future in india but if you were to start as a new uh, caravan tourism operator i will suggest a person should have enough money to sustain for 2 3 years it makes no roi sense as of now so you it, it will not be able to give you uh, enough livelihood or business but yes it has a bright future because it's a huge country people people are getting used to outdoor thanks to some companies those have started providing outdoor stoves outdoor camping gear like tents and all i remember um, about uh, 10 15 years ago people just had no clue what is a dome tent and uh, i remember when i made my first rooftop tent me and my wife for our king cobra people were asking what is the rooftop tent people had no clue now every second person who has got suv are they are installing rooftop tents so it is got a bright future but bharat needs to see little more you know cleaner eyes uh, babus need to remove their colored glasses and they need to get unmasked towards it so the first thing babu says who paise banane wala hai koi paise banane wala hai to mehnat kar raha hai to paise banayega na why don't you give him support so we need to have a positive attitude towards that and which and i'm sorry to say i mean uh, people don't like to hear these kind of remarks from me we are sometimes uh, not bold uh, in you know uh, harnessing our jealousy or negative approach all of this is in the government office first they want to say no to you first they want to create a hurdle they want to show you their power they need to be very positive they say okay let's sit down and see listen to people their problems so let's see there's a bright future it will happen thank you very much captain suresh sharma and uh, it was uh, absolute delight to discuss with uh, you the subject is uh, for our viewers not very common if we have a second i would like to say something more if you have just a minute please, please. 30 seconds please. now i am taking care of something more which bharat needs which my people my country needs is the food industry we need to see the street food has a very very bad impression that it is not hygienic in my camp we have been known in the country for the best hygiene even the five star hotels cannot maintain that probably the outdoors so i am designing now food related uh, stainless steel items i have uh, you know very soon i am going to launch a food trailer of a different kind which will be very attractive for people so i am going to help people in designing small small things like a small vendor who can you know serve kulche chole or maybe mungfali shakrakandi golgappe that kind of thing but good that you mentioned good that you mentioned about it because this was yeah. the point i was also about to miss Uh, your new initiative which will bring a common roadside vendor to a very respectable position because what yeah. uh, he would be offering would be uh, at competitive price the best hygiene and uh, uh, the display uh, yeah. because for food it is uh, how they appear then how they smell and then uh, how they taste taste comes last first is you know about food you know I mean, food is appetizing 
first yeah. food appears to be you know attractive and appetizing so display is a you know, very important ingredient uh, for uh, roadside vendors and uh, your uh, initiative is perfectly in sync with what is happening in bharat all across and uh, i am sure that uh, this will also be a very successful ventures from you and uh, my good luck and good wishes and uh, thank you captain thank you, thank you very much uh, it was uh, uh, very delightful and uh, in very uh, straightforward manners you have mentioned about the high points and low points also of uh, the sector you are operating uh, caravan tourism thank you very much and uh, to our uh, viewers uh, let me share with you viewers that uh, as you already know in captain's cut we bring those personalities who chose to take entirely different option in their life they had uh, different cuts in their life that's why they are worthy of discussion and uh, such are the people who have uh, left the comfort who have left the career and uh, who have left the care and uh, those uh, luxuries which normal routine life provides and uh, they make a difference next uh, we are going to bring a corporate honcho who left the very fulfilling job because he had the urge and desire to serve humanity especially he wanted to see that girl child become more empowered education was the medium he thought this empowerment uh, will be attained and uh, next discussion will be on that personality and uh, till we meet again uh, remain happy remain healthy remain safe may god bless you thank you very much